Hey you guys, it's Vijaya and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day for me because we're gonna be preparing one of my favorite desserts of all time, yeast risen donuts. Now I love these donuts because they're light, airy, have a little bit of a chew to them and we're gonna be preparing them in two different ways. So some of them are gonna be dipped into a homemade chocolate glaze. Yes, you heard right girl. And the rest are gonna be rolled in granulated sugar, classic deliciousness, I love it. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're loving the videos, I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you're looking for the full recipe, all you have to do is click the info box just under this video and everything you need is there. Let's make some homemade donuts. In order to make donuts, you've got to make some dough. I mean, it's in the name, people, and the dough could not be simpler. We're starting off with a little bit of lukewarm milk. If you pull your milk straight out of the fridge, all you have to do is zap it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. You just want it to be warm to the touch, but not super hot, because this provides the perfect environment for yeast to bloom. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of yeast in here, give it a nice stir, and we're gonna let it hang for about five minutes until it gets nice and frothy. If you notice that your yeast does not froth up, there's a chance that your milk was either too hot or your yeast is dead. So you want to start this process from the beginning just to make sure your yeast is active. Now that my yeast is nice and poofy, it's time to get this show on the road. I have a stand mixer here that's outfitted with a paddle attachment. You can just as easily do this by hand. It's really, really easy. And to the mixer, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, some melted butter, you guys know how I feel about butter, as well as a touch of salt. We're gonna drop the mixer down and give it a nice mix. Next, I'm gonna crack in a couple of eggs and we're gonna give them a nice mix until they're well incorporated with the butter and sugar. Then in goes the yeast and milk mixture. Again, we're gonna give that a mix. And then finally, we're gonna add in our flour. Now we're gonna mix in the flour until a shaggy dough forms. And then I'm gonna switch out my paddle for the hook. And we're gonna continue kneading this mixture for about seven to eight minutes or 12 minutes by hand until it's nice and soft and supple and smooth. And just like that, our dough is ready. So I'm just gonna pull it off, take it out. Ooh. It's a bit of a sticky dough. That's exactly what you want though. And I'm gonna just shape it into a ball. So you just wanna tuck all the ends underneath so that you get a nice smooth ball like this. I'm gonna place it in the bowl and cover it with a little bit of plastic wrap or a damp cloth. And it's gonna hang out for an hour or until it doubles in volume. All right, you guys, our dough is ready. It has risen for an hour and take a look at it. Incredible. It has puffed up so much, almost doubled in volume, and now we're ready to roll it out. So I'm just gonna lightly flour my surface, tip my dough over, and roll it out until it's a quarter of an inch in thickness. This donut dough was such a dream to roll out. It's so supple and soft, the perfect donut dough. And now is the fun bit. We're gonna punch out some donuts. So if you have cookie cutters at home, go ahead and use a three and a half inch cookie cutter and a one and a half inch cookie cutter. I happen to have a mug as well as the lid of something that I found around the house. That's what I'm gonna use and it's perfectly fine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the mug, punch out our exterior ring, all over the dough and then follow it up with the little guy who's going to create the donut hole as well as the center for the larger donut. Now that our donuts have been punched out, it's time to rest them one last time. So I have little pieces of parchment paper that I've cut out for each donut. I'm gonna transfer the donut to the paper and cover it with a little bit of plastic wrap or a damp paper cloth, and we're gonna let it rise for 45 minutes. Resting it on this paper will help ensure that our donut gets nice and puffy without changing its shape, and it's gonna make the frying process super easy. While my donuts are proofing away behind me, we're gonna make the chocolate glaze, which comes together in 25 seconds. Mark my words. So in this bowl, I have some chocolate chips, and to them, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, some corn syrup, as well as some water. We're gonna pop this all into the microwave for 25 seconds, that's all that it takes, and then once it comes out, give it a nice stir until it becomes silky, smooth, and homogenous, and just like that, our chocolate glaze is ready. It's been about 45 minutes and look at these donuts. They have doubled in volume. They're so nice and poofy. And this is great because when we go to fry them up, they're gonna be as light and airy as a cloud. Speaking of which, I have a big pot here with a little bit of oil. 
actually a lot of oil. Let's keep it real, we are deep frying people, it's absolutely necessary. And this oil has been heated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna gently lower in the donut with the parchment paper so that it maintains its shape. And we're gonna cook it for about a minute on each side until it's nice and golden brown and fluffy and cook through in the middle. Then onto a cooling rack they go. We're gonna let them hang for a bit before we dress them up. My donuts have slightly cooled down and now it's time to get dipping and rolling. I have a little bit of granulated sugar here, my homemade chocolate glaze. Let's do it. Give it a nice spin, flip it over. Oh my gosh, is that not a beauty? And you wanna make sure every edge is covered in that sugar. Get it inside the little hole as well. And that's our sugar donut done. Next up is the classic chocolate glaze. So drop your donut in, give it a bit of a twist, lift it out, and look at that perfection. These donuts look so beautiful, they're so precious. Let's tuck in and give them a taste. Let's start off with the sugar donut. This is personally my favorite, and look at it. Beautiful coverage of that crunchy sugar. Let's give it a taste. And that's what I'm talking about. And now it's time for the chocolate donut. Let's see how it stacks up. I love that beautiful glaze. It's nice and shiny. And this one totally reminds me of my childhood. Mmm. Mmm. These donuts are absolutely spectacular and the magic is in the dough. It's light, airy, fluffy with just the right amount of chew. And depending on what your preference is, either granulated sugar or deep decadent chocolate, there's something for everyone. I mean, these donuts are so good, you might even put Tim Hortons out of business. Did I just say that? I just said that. Well, there you go. They're that good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, comment, concern, or request, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye. Chocolate glaze. And the second is gonna be wrapped. Oh, sorry, we're so close. We're so close. We're so close.